driving, so finally uh, outside the city, and this is my trip plan. So the car is suggesting one stop, 40 minutes charge. We'll see. I might do a stop in uh, Ljubljana, and then on this uh, Villa Austria, whatever that's pronounced, and uh, should be at two stops. So we'll see. Okay, uh, so we started from Zagreb with 90% uh, across the East Slovenian border. We are now at the 82%, so 80%. Got the horrible stickers on our windshield, and off we go. So we're in Slovenia uh, after some waiting on the border. It's a lot of tourists. Uh, for some reason, I uh, don't have a connection here. I'm on the edge, so the map is a little bit uh, blurry hasn't loaded, we're at 80%, so we'll continue our trip. Uh, at 70%, somewhere in Slovenia, uh, driving. Now, one of the features I really wish I had on the basic autopilot is uh, changing the lanes with your turn signal. It's part of the advanced autopilot, but I wish I could just purchase that feature particularly because it's really annoying when you have to disengage autopilot to change lane and then engage it again. So uh, just to show you, I got the update where you can just press here now, you can see the kilometers. So uh, around 60%, we have around 300 plus, 350 kilometers. Uh, on the 90, it's something around 500 and a little bit. So just for the reference for those of you. And uh, I haven't really checked my Consumption is pretty good, 18 kilowatts. It's not bad, it's even dropping. And another thing, uh, I almost have 7,000 kilometers on my odometer. So I have the car almost for three months now. So summer is usually when I do most of my trips. So I was on a phone call uh, past Ljubljana. We are at 60% still driving and a little bit traffic so should arrive in 35 minutes to our supercharger but uh, I speak uh, in Slovenia uh, and just after it's as uh, a Austrian border Uh, I think we're like almost past Slovenia. Still not there, but close to uh, Kran. So, yeah. Maybe at 40% we'll be uh, at the Slovenian border, so that's 50% of battery. preconditioning for fast charging uh, but uh, the navigation or the Google Maps uh, told me to get off the highway because there's a traffic jam a few kilometers so I'm now driving on the local road trying to avoid that traffic congestion on the highway it's before the uh, tunnel that's connecting Slovenia and Austria so a little update we are at 40% uh, we did beat a lot of traffic as you can see here uh, because it's a congestion there's a tunnel leading to Austria so we're the, the tunnel uh, between Slovenia and Austria uh, you have to pay seven and a half euros for the tunnel it's not included in the Austrian sticker so uh, we're Arriving at our supercharger location. As you can see, that's the spot. So we have arrived at uh, the charging station with 33%, and we're gonna plug it in. 
So it should be this one. That's the CCS. And plug it in. Light should go green after communication. Gonna hear some clicks. <clears throat> Screen charging. Um, now, this is the one A. If there's like more cars, then if someone parks next to you, you're sharing. On this one, maybe no. Uh, I think this might be the V2. But if there are more cars, just park to the next stall. Don't park next to someone else because you will be sharing. For this one, I'm really not sure if this is a V2, um, so I don't know. You can see here, this is the CCS and the bottom is Type 2. This is for Model X and S, the older types. So this is for the Model 3 and the Model Y, which have the CCS and this is the only Type 2 uh, connection. And taking a look at the car, so we'll have to charge for 35 minutes to continue the trip. Uh, we're pulling 115 kilowatts at the moment, so I believe this is a, a, a V1 supercharger, uh, but uh, this might go up, uh, at some point it's going to decrease the charging curve. Let's see if we can see here, energy, now oh, this was my trip, using power and deaccelerating, over here trip. So, well, we're charging now, so it's different here. But uh, we should be uh, in a few minutes, maybe half an hour, ready to go. Well, I'm almost done, but while you're charging, uh, you can kill your time by playing games. How cool is that? And I've uh, set 200%, but it says I have enough to continue trips, so I get idle fees, so I'll just uh, continue I don't need to charge more because over here it says I can reach my destination with 7% although I'd like more but we'll see I might stop somewhere else for a short so we're continuing our trip uh, with 90% well I've charged up to 93 but uh, all the waitings uh, the rush hour has prolonged the trip at least by an hour or two. Uh, now my uh, arrival date, uh, excuse me, time should be one o'clock in the morning. It's supposed to be at 23 first, but then it just prolonged it more and more. Not because of charging, but because of the traffic and border and tunnel. The supercharger with 35%. I just want to have some uh, percentage uh, tomorrow so I can charge up. And you know, so I'm just gonna stop here for like 10 minutes. Uh, this was pulling wow, 130. So okay, that's nice. I didn't precondition because I didn't put this one in the charging, so it's pretty nice. I thought it would pull you in 1.5. 
Well, it's actually it's rising. Uh, on this two stalls, it says 30 minutes max. On the other ones, it doesn't. So it looks like this is the maximum power because it didn't precondition it once again. But I just need to get to maybe 50, and then I'll head off. Well, we're close to the Munich. Uh, in the no speed limit zone, but uh, I had my fun reaching the top speed on this car, which is 233 kilometers per hour. It was fun. This is probably the safest place to test it out. It's flat, three lanes. But uh, I want to save some juice for tomorrow. We're in the ring around the Munich, three lanes, uh, no speed limit. Uh, it's flat, perfect for testing top speed of the car. I might do that in a separate point of view video, uh, but uh, it will be dangerous only one camera right now, so uh, I could do it, but it uh, wouldn't be a good uh, frame, so it's better to do with the GoPro. But the consumption is pretty good. Uh, it's changing, but mostly in the uh, specific Specified 70 kilowatts average, I guess. So, just to show you the ring. Okay, um, sharing this as well, uh, a little frightening experience. Um, I was passing next to a, a landmark, which is the uh, arena here. I was coming from this direction. So what happened is I was in the most right lane on the autopilot. And as I was passing here, it's completely dark. Uh, I saw the arena and just took a glance and then realized that my car was going sideways uh, at 1.30 on cruise control. And at this point I started braking. Uh, it is a nice big bend, but at such a high speed, uh, I managed to hold the control thanks to the all-wheel drive. Uh, the Model 3 was outstanding. I managed to slow down and just continue driving, but uh, it was a really frightening experience because I didn't expect the car to move into that corner. Once it moved, I realized I was... Because um, you have to know there's no street lights Here it's completely pitch black. Uh, it was definitely a frightening experience, but in this fast moment, uh, I managed to hold the control thanks to the all wheel drive, the Model 3 performance uh, on the road and traction was freaking amazing, but it was also freaking scary going at such a high speed through this. Um, luckily this was a huge bend, I guess that's why the road was, uh, or this lane was separating, but I didn't realize that on the autopilot and the arena was uh, a huge distraction obviously for me. So just wanted to share this it was a really frightening experience to be honest but um yeah the model 3 proved to be an excellent car but my uh advice is uh really pay attention when using autopilot i guess this was a tricky situation that uh, wouldn't happen uh usually but uh it does so it can happen so always stay cautious when using the autopilot you see the famous arena that uh I took a glance in a wrong moment, probably the worst moment. 